Today we're speedrunning through Stick War, the game where you murder a bunch of stick men because I mean, why not? And we'll start our speedrun as soon as we click on our difficulty, right away we want to click ready up, go to the first level, and it tries to give us a tutorial, but we kind of just skip that because I already know how to play the game. I mean, I'm speedrunning it, I kind of hope I already know how to play it. And we're going to take control of our first unit. You can either let these units do whatever they want, or you can take control of them yourself. And it's always a better idea to take control of them yourself because they're going to be able to do more damage, and it's just going to be better. I mean, I trust myself more than just just some random computer so that also makes sense and yeah we can just head over here their people are gonna run away from us for some reason and then we can start attacking their statue the way to win each level is to destroy their statue before they're able to destroy yours so for the speed run we have the strategy of just kind of bum rushing it it works out pretty well and there we go their statue is almost out of health we did it in pretty quick time and we can move on to the next level but before that we're gonna increase our guys speed so they're able to go faster obviously because that's kind of what increasing speed does and for the second level level this is basically an auto scroller so some of these levels are levels where we get ambushed and this means we just have to survive until the sun sets so you can see the sun in the background it is slowly going down and i'm kind of just mining because just like how you do more damage if you're controlling someone you also mine more efficiently if you're controlling someone so i might as well just mine let my people do their thing i mean we're not even close to losing and yeah these are the boring parts of the run there's nothing you can really do to speed it up you can use cool strats like going behind the enemy and then just slicing them but that's pretty much it i mean nothing really else to do the sun is almost down we only have like one more wave we have to deal with so oh there they come i'm gonna use the same strategy where i just go behind them because they seem like jerks and now we literally have nothing else to do the game is over all we have to do is wait for that sun to finally get past us and for some reason our stick men decide to just attack the air i don't know why they decide to do this are they like fighting their inner demons or something i really hope you guys are winning but all we can do for this level is kind of just wait it out there's no way to speed it up you guys can just attack your demons and there we go the level's done we're going to increase our speed a little bit more as well as increase our castle income which will allow us to get more units and we're going to start out this level by getting one of our miners and he's going to be able to mine a couple of things before then we start taking control of our first warrior and he's going to actually be doing some killing so i'm going to go behind this guy try not to let him kill me okay this guy is actually really effective please stop it dude and now we have the dream team of these three people and just kind of hoping they'll be able to survive i don't know if it's really the dream team but i can believe it is please don't die I see all your blood on the ground. Let's just stop having that. You do not need to get shot by this dude. Oh, and they're trying to send out other people. This is really bad RNG we're getting right now. What I'm going to do is actually a little bit of a different strategy. Because when you get bad RNG like this, you can use this strategy, which is basically just going around them and juking them. Yeah, goodbye, guys. I'm going to go just attack your base, and they kind of just let me. So we just have my one guy. They're going to try to attack me, but it's going to be too late. I already got rid of their base. Yeah, that was nice and easy. And for this next one, we're going to going to want to increase our guy's sword so they're going to be able to do more damage and yeah it's time for another monument this one's going to start out like usual where we're going to mine a little bit so we can get some extra money and then right away we're going to want to switch to our swordsman our swordsman is just going to go through maybe see somebody in the middle of the stage it looks like we won't for this one and oh yeah this one is when we see the gladiator which these guys just kind of run away we came up to him he had a full shield and all that kinds of stuff and he just ran away literally our enemies are like the wimpiest people in the world sometimes Times, and I really don't understand why but I also will take it so I'm just gonna hope that I can take care of the statue before they attack me and that was perfect that was a really good level we can upgrade our sword a little bit more upgrade our pickaxe so it does some better mining and yeah now it's time for another survive level hooray for auto scrollers it really is the greatest thing of all time I mean it is kind of nice because it gives you a little break in the run I have to do a little less intensive things even though this game in general isn't the most intensive thing in the world but yeah I'm just gonna have my one miner keep mining trying to get more troops and i mean eventually the enemy's gonna come i think they're literally giving me time to have this entire army of people but nobody is even coming to attack me and of course that means that we're gonna have to attack them because i mean why not i'm kind of bored so we have enough people we developed an army and then while they're still gathering their troops we're just gonna ambush them because i mean they technically ambushed me first so i mean it isn't really my fault at all and yeah it's not really the hardest fight in the world a bunch of people keep coming but because we have these really overpowered swords we kind of just kill them all and get back to attacking our demons yeah guys 
guys, go, hooray, you can kill those invisible monsters. Why do I always get stuck with the weird people? And there we go, that is going to be another level done. We got through that, so we're gonna increase our mining a bit more and move on to our next level, which is going to be the magic hill. I'm not exactly sure what a magic hill is supposed to be, but I mean, it's something. So we're gonna wait for our first warrior, send him out, and then of course we're gonna be him. I mean, it's pretty much the same strategy as we use for most of these levels. We head over here with our army. There is literally nobody there. Like, what are they even trying to do? And yeah, we just start attacking a statue of swords. Honestly, this probably isn't the best way to destroy a statue. Like, is attacking a statue of metal swords even that effective? But I mean, it seems pretty effective. We're getting through to it. I just have to hope that we're able to destroy this before the people can attack me. We are so close to there. Come on, please. It just needs one more hit. Oh, or it's actually done. Hooray. And then we can go ahead, increase our castle income a little bit more, move on to the next level. And it's time for pretty much the exact same strategy. We're going to get the miner, send out the people. I mean, you already get it at this point. I don't think I have to explain anymore, but there is going to be one person who tries to come towards me. The thing about controlling your character though, is you don't really have to worry about that. You can attack the people before they get even close to you. And it's really nice because why would I fight fair? I mean, this is stick war and we seem to have a pretty good status here. They're going to send out a bunch of people, which is really annoying, especially when they send out a bunch of smaller units at the same time. So what I'm going to do here is actually hold back my units for a bit so we can prepare a bigger attack. And of course, by a bigger attack, I mean sneaking behind their enemy lines. So we'll send out the stick men, head over here, just juke all of them because that's the most beautiful thing in the world. And yeah, it's a free statue destroying day for me, except for these people. Please just die. All right, you're being very annoying. I'm trying to destroy your statue. You don't got to do this. Seriously, they keep coming. What is wrong with you? Just let me kill you. Okay, finally, we're able to take care of this statue. And there we go. That is going to be another level done. It wasn't perfect, but it was pretty good. And we can upgrade our mining bag a little bit. I probably should have done my castle income, but that's going to be okay because now we're on to the next one. Same little strategy. We're going to mine for a bit, send out our sword people. Don't worry because the strategy is going to switch up a tiny bit in a second, but I mean, you pretty much get what's the most efficient for this game. You kind of just use this. They're so fast. They're able to do what they need to do. They scare away the gladiators for some reason. Like they're such wimps. And we can just slowly whittle away on the statue. Nobody even cares. We get to like half health before they even send out more people, but they're going to send out two gladiators right there. I'm going to try to get as much damage on the statue as possible and try to keep the rest of my units away for a second. We might be able to take care of this. This is going to be really close. Please hit him. Oh, that was really good. Okay. This is a really good run. I'm going to upgrade that and my bag. We can move on to the next level and this can actually be really good. So for this one, it's time to destroy the giants monument. So obviously we have pretty much the same strategy. Send out some people. Hope they're able to do the things we need them to. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. We have this guy and he's going to try to do his thing. But for some reason, he just doesn't pay attention to us. And then we can start whittling away at a statue. And then what's even better than that is you see this arrow guy and he's also not doing anything. He just looks at us and is like, okay, I guess you can destroy my statue. I don't really care. And I mean, that works for me because I don't really feel like doing any work. I'll just slowly destroy this statue if you want me to. I mean, I'll get there eventually. So there's not too much more I can do to speed up this level. I'm kind of just attacking a statue and it is losing its health little by little. And there you go. You can see there's another giant. He's definitely going to attack me, right? But no, he's not. Okay, just keep letting me attack your statue, I guess. Also, this mining guy is being really annoying, dude. Can you please die? You're kind of in my way. At least you get to see some cool gameplay, like the giant fighting and doing all that stuff, even if for some reason he isn't fighting me. And yeah, we're just gonna slowly get rid of this statue. I don't even know what else to say. I mean, we won. That's pretty cool. So we can move on, and we don't really have any other upgrades that we need to do, so we're just kind of gonna not upgrade. But hey, it's time for another survival level. Hooray. But don't worry because this is going to be the last one of the game. All we have to do is make it through this one. And yeah, I'm just kind of building up my army, mining a little bit, slowly but surely getting better and better. What do you want me to say at this point? Okay. It's a pretty simple strategy. We're just kind of living our life. But hey, look, it's the scary giant. Oh no, he's definitely going to take care of me. Too bad. I'm literally just going to go behind him and start kicking him or something. Yeah. All the people just start attacking him. We acquired such a gigantic army that the giant just can't really do too much to us. I mean, he does do some damage, but he's about to be dead already. And yeah, that was pretty nice. So hey, might as well get back to some more mining. We're just going to mine a tiny bit more before we send these units out. And you can see how many people we have. Like, are they even supposed to be able to do anything against us? But I'm going to send these people out, buy a couple more of them, and it's time for one more fight. It's like the previous levels where there's just going to be a gigantic horde of people. But because we have such overpowered units, we kind of just continuously one shot them. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. This is amazing gameplay. I really don't know what my enemies are supposed to do at this point. 
just kind of accept their death and yeah live your life or i guess you can't live your life anymore because you're dead but let's just not talk about that and there we go that is going to be another level done we can move on to the next one you pretty much already know the drill but hey now we're in the ice mountains that's pretty cool it must mean we're using a different strategy right no not really we're kind of just sending this guy out he's gonna kill both of these people in front of him because they look like jerks and then we'll just keep sending more people out keep doing some more murder i'm gonna stab him before he even gets near me and they run away of course like the usual babies that they are like i feel bad for my enemy to a point because his units literally do nothing they have no loyalty i mean sometimes they'll shoot me with arrows but that barely does any damage and they're gonna send out all those people but your statue's already pretty much dead come on i just have a couple more okay that was kind of sad looks like we're gonna have to use the juking strategy sometimes you gotta get down and dirty and do it yourself so i'm just gonna go around all these people and this is a lot of people i don't even know if i can make it through please no okay we're gonna try this juking strategy once more i'm just gonna go around they'll all try to attack that guy i can make my way through excuse me i really don't want to fight please just let me destroy your stuff it's so close to being gone they're all trying to attack me but there it goes <laughs> their statue is gone and it's time for the final level all we have to do is beat the desert and for this one hey we're using the same strategy i mean seriously at this point who would have guessed so we can send our people out they're all going to be ready to attack i don't know what's going on with the moon right now though i mean look at it but we'll murder a couple of people send out some more units you know it's pretty simple stuff and you can see their statue is really big this time and i wonder why that is oh is something gonna happen with it did you see the little foreshadowing hints i gave you so we want to kill all of these units as well because they're gonna be really annoying if we don't take care of them but we're just gonna slowly whittle down this statue's health kill the people that come by because they're also gonna try to kill us and yeah it's pretty much the same game as usual hopefully we'll be able to do this before too much longer i just have these people to kill as well they're being really annoying but there we go the statue is going to fall and oh wow what's coming out of it do you think my acting's pretty good i sure hope it is but yeah this is actually a person that pops out of the statue for some what is going on with this game it's one of these big giant things and it's trying to attack us and just murder us violently so of course we're gonna try to murder it violently because that seems like much more fun and we'll just keep sending our troops at it one by one he's gonna slowly get his health whittled down it's annoying because he can use attacks like that which will stun our people for a while but if we have people in front of him and behind him then at least we can attack him with one of them so i'm just gonna slowly wait until he dies i mean there's not too much you can do to speed this up he's gonna keep trying to attack me with his big mallet but eventually he falls and we can end off time right there hooray we did it we win and if we look on speedrun.com we see that we're now 14th place hey i'll take it but i'd like to thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like on it it really helps me with the youtube algorithm and i really appreciate it also check out my other videos i do a lot of speedrunning type content on this channel so if you enjoyed this video you might enjoy my others and if you do subscribe but enough shilling thank you all for watching i'll catch you next time